turns can be difficult. Dad, he has this many turns. Boy, Dad. Yeah. the bum bum guys. <laughs> Signing? Yeah, he's not talking, he's dining. <laughs> yeah. Hello, love. So I made a bluey cake, or should I say chewy? <laughs> I don't know if I did such a great job. So this is my first time making like a standing up cake, and it's my first time making bluey. So I did learn a few things. Now, long story short, this cake was supposed to be for content only. I literally did not care what it looked like in terms of like super neatness or if I had to place the fondant on very good, because as you can see, there was a lot of holes and you can see through, you can see the cake and whatever. Even in terms of flavor, because I literally was going to cut the cake for content and even smoosh it up and turn it into cake pops. But I had a cousin of mine who I have not spoken to in years call me up and ask for a cake. And I was like, when? And he's like, tomorrow. I'm like, Amo, that is not possible. Our electricity went out for a day and I was already in the middle of making this cake. And then I told him, Amo, how old is your grandson? And he said three. And I'm like, this might be perfect. I'm literally working on a cake for toddlers and I'm just doing it for content. I was like, but you know what? Instead of me cutting into it, I'd rather somebody get use out of it. But I told him, look, it's not my best work and it's not my best flavor either because it was just going to be for me. And he was like, I really don't care. And I said, great, it all worked out. Here's Chewy. I mean, Bluey. Where are my other over-the-top birthday party planning moms? I do this to myself every year leading up to the girls' birthdays. I give myself project after project. I just can't help it. I absolutely love over-celebrating everything, but especially over-celebrating my girls. So for Juniper's party this year, I really wanted to do those wooden arch backdrops. And I didn't want to rent them from anywhere. I just wanted to build them. That way we could have them whenever I wanted to use them for another party or event. And my husband is the best because anytime I have these crazy projects, he just totally makes it happen for me. We used two eight-foot boards. The one, we just added the arch to it, and then the other one, we made a little bit smaller, split in half, and then made half of that a little bit smaller and used the bottom piece for that half circle. I love it. Come back for part two when we get them painted. All right, my over-the-top party planning moms that were with me last weekend when Billy and I built those wooden arch backdrops. I have another project this weekend that I may have taken a little too far, but there's no turning back now, so you can help me set everything up today. When it comes to party favors, I try to come up with something that is really creative and that's going to last. I don't want something that is easily just thrown away. So if you've seen the show Bluey, you know that Bingo's favorite stuffed animal is Floppy. And here comes trouble. <laughs> Don't mind us being so weird. <laughs> 
But anyway, back to Floppy. I saw this print on Etsy and I thought it would be so sweet if all the kids got to adopt a Floppy. So adorable, right? Especially because the theme is bluey, but Juniper relates more to Bingo as the little sister. So I love that Floppy is Bingo's stuffed animal. Now, the thing is, trying to find purple bunnies has been so hard, especially cheap ones. I did not want to spend more than a couple dollars. But here's my secret. Here's where I went crazy. These bunnies are actually dog toys. Dog toys! The quality is so good, and they are absolutely adorable. I could not believe how cheap they were. I found them at Home Goods. I even think they'd be so cute in an Easter basket. They do squeak, but other than that, they are perfect. So here's how my setup turned out. What do you think? me 13 years to realize Bluey's aunt couldn't have babies. It's all good, Brandy. Hi, girls. Bluey, you look just like your father. What? You look just like you. It's been too long. I know. Look, Chili. Yeah? Hey, Brandy! How you doing? <laughs> No, Brandy, I'm sorry. Don't go. Why did Auntie Brandy want to leave? Is she sad? Well, there's something Auntie Brandy wants more than anything as well. But she can't have it. And there's not really anything anyone can do. Why can't she just have the thing she wants? Because it's not meant to be. Hello loves, last time I made a bluey cake and I messed up and I said he and it turned out to be a she, forgive me. I got the, just because it's a blue doesn't mean that's a boy. It's like chillax, okay. Anywho, I had someone message me and they're like, I know you're not taking orders, but please make my daughter a bluey cake. And she saw my last one, even with all the mistakes, she's like, I don't care how many mistakes there are on there, I would love one. But I was like, but I already made it for content and I don't feel like making it again. So I told her, you know what? I've always wanted to make bingo, which is her sister. I was like, does your daughter like bingo? And she's like, she likes both, but she likes Bluey more. So I said, how about I make you a deal and we meet halfway. I will make you half Bluey, half bingo. The same one that I did last time. And I will give you a great deal on it. Trust me, I gave her a really good deal. And she's like, yes, totally. I'd love that. So I did want to make bingo for content, but I figured this is great too. You got half Bluey, you got half bingo. Her daughter gets the best of both worlds. And I learned from my mistakes for the other cake. What do you guys think? The color is slightly off, but it's cute. There has been a sudden Twitter and TikTok rise surrounding the children's show Bluey. 
I've been seeing this show at the top trending on Disney Plus for like a year now, and that's pretty impressive because Simpsons and like Moana are on there. And for a while I assumed it was another Baby Shark Peppa Pig cash grab until I watched it and now I'm obsessed. The backgrounds are gorgeous, they're like Steven Universe level backgrounds. The voice acting in this show is genuinely so good. I don't believe this dad is a real dad though, he is literally an angel. He just plays whatever these kids want to play. I'm the doctor! Oh, uh, hello doctor, my name is- Ding. Ouch! Oh, brave boy. What was that? A needle! Now- My mom walked in on me watching this show and she's like, Why are you watching Bluey? Isn't that for kids? And I instantly stopped her. SHUT UP! I also like spotting the random animation error is in this show like in this episode where bingo is afraid of a pool cleaner and then like five seconds later i think the animators forgot to add it again but seriously this is the first children's show since like the pbs 2010s age where i feel like they're actually trying so good on you bluey for not treating children like they're dumb i just wanted to talk about it dream? I know that. Blue's my friend. Ooh, can I be the caterpillar first? I'm going first. <laughs> my turn. You're too small to be a caterpillar. No, I'm not. <gasps> little kids take so long to do everything. He's only got little legs. Hurry up, Bingo. Hey, Bluey. Yeah? Let's run away from Bingo. Well, why? She's taking ages. Well, uh... Come on! No one to tickle his nose. Wait for me! No one to blow his nose. Bluey, you were meant to catch me. Ah! Quick, Bluey, run away! Quick! We can hide in my house! We just going crazy or something. Oh yes, probably. Oh dang it! Oh! Oh! oh. 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 No. oh well, I guess it's not something about stretch marks. I'm never getting out of this. Who's your father? Bing! I didn't know this was the something. Mark Fragile, okay, well I better be careful! Hey, Muffin, we're gonna start! Are you Muffin? Oh boy, I think Muffin skipped to sleep! I am a mom, eating a banana! What the fuck? That is my friend. What the fuck? This is a shame, because he's such a handsome fella. There has been a sudden Twitter and TikTok rise surrounding the children's show Bluey. I've been seeing this show at the top trending on Disney Plus for like a year now, and that's pretty impressive because Simpsons and like Moana are on there. And for a while I assumed it was another Baby Shark Peppa Pig cash grab until I watched it and now I'm obsessed. The backgrounds are gorgeous, they're like Steven Universe level backgrounds. The voice acting in this show is genuinely so good. I don't believe this dad is a real dad though, he is literally an angel. He just plays whatever these kids want to play. I'm the doctor! Oh, uh, hello doctor, my name is- Ding. Ouch! Oh, brave boy. What was that? A needle! Now! My mom walked in on me watching this show and she's like, Why are you watching Bluey? Isn't that for kids? And I instantly stopped her. SHUT UP! I also like spotting the random animation area in this show like in this episode where bingo is afraid of a pool cleaner and then like five seconds later i think the animators forgot to add it again but seriously this is the first children's show since like the pbs 2010s age where i feel like they're actually trying so good on you bluey for not treating children like they're dumb i just wanted to talk about it
dream? Oh, Bluey. How could you? It wasn't me. It was you. Teaching my seven-year-old to draw hands. You'll find something waiting right there where you left it, lying upside down. When you finally find it, can't wait to see his progress. Good morning, Uncle Gorgeous. How much is this? Oh, uh, so buy four, get one free. I'll have the free one. No, Gorgeous, you mean to pay for this? Gorgeous! Do you know what this scene in the newest Bluey episode, Stickbird, means? I really like Stickbird. Yeah, me too. He was beautiful. But when you put something beautiful out into the world, it's no longer yours, really. Well, we have an official answer from Joe Brum, the creator of Bluey, from the Behind Bluey podcast that came out today. And as most of us guessed it, yes, it was a fourth wall break. And this line is direct from Joe Brum to us as the audience. He specifically said in the podcast how when he put Bluey out, he was getting so many notes on it and it would make him really upset. But also when he actually put it out into the world, how some people really resonated with some episodes and not so much with some other ones and had some criticisms about them. So while this doesn't answer why Bandit in the Bluey verse is upset, it does answer what this line means and that yes, it was a fourth wall break. Did you guess this? Let me know in the comment section down below.